Hey guys, okay, so today I am going to be doing another KonMari video, and this is obviously the intro for the video, and this is going to be my makeup one. So I filmed this in two different little sections. First, I kind of did my makeup, like cleaning off my vanity, and then I went through my makeup. So one of the first things that you need to think about when going through your makeup is, is it dried out? bottom line is the makeup still working um, so that was actually a really big thing that helped me get rid of a lot of my mascaras is that they were already dried out and I couldn't use them anymore another thing is that on the back of a lot of packagings there is a little um, open little let's see let me see if I will focus a little jar that's open and it'll have a number with an M on the inside and that means that's how long that the product is actually good for so that contour palette is good for 24 months after purchase and opening so that is also really helpful in not even like thinking about how many things you need to get rid of or like what sparks joy but just you have to get rid of it because it's old. Next, obviously, is does it spark joy? I mean, that's the whole KonMari theory and everything, but it's more along the lines of does this specific makeup item, when you put it on, make you feel good? Does it make you look pretty? Do you like the way it looks when it's on? Does it improve your skin rather than make it oily or make it drier or whatever? Like, is it a product? That's really like a great product that you would reach for every day. And so this is a thing that Marie talks about, but that is I kind of bend the rules a little bit. So it is discard the packaging once you receive the item. Take it out of the packaging and throw it away. Now being a more beauty guru type person, I can't really throw away packaging right away just because I am trying out the products and seeing what I like about them and referencing the packaging to when I make videos for you guys to be able to tell you what I think about it and if it lives up to its standards or not. Sorry, my boss is really bothering me. Basically, I keep it until I decide if I like it or if I need to return it or if I need to reference back to the packaging, but once I am set on this product that I really like it, that I'm really gonna use it, then I will throw away the packaging. But that's just something that I have to do in my line of work. Um, but yeah, so God Marie says to discard the packaging once you receive the item. And then the last thing would be kind of tying back into the, does it make you look good? Is it something you're gonna wear? If you are not a person that wears bright red lipstick and you've got four of them maybe just keep one of them because obviously you're not wearing them for a reason and they don't make you feel good or whatever the reason be then there's no need in getting excess amounts of them and if you end up do really liking that one that you get use it all up and then get another one it's as simple as that then you can just go out and buy another one that you know you're gonna like so those are all of Con Marie's slash my kind of tips for cleaning out your makeup so let's get into it okay so here is my nightstand slash vanity and it's not like atrocious or anything but I will take you guys in closer but it's just messier than I'd like and you know with the KonMari everything you know you just go through everything so this is what it looks like right now um and down here some stuff hidden back there um so I am not on the part yet where it is makeup but this was just something that it was kind of irritating me and I figured while I'm organizing everything, I might as well, you know, do this as well. And also, so this drawer has um, my TV remotes, um, chapsticks, hair ties, and bobby pins. And this isn't very messy at all. It's actually really organized. I organized it, um, I want to say like over the summer or maybe a little more recently, but I implemented these things from the container store. But... I really don't like this stuff on my nightstand because I do sleep on this side of the bed. Um, there is a nightstand over there, 
but I sleep on this side and so this is kind of like my little <laughs> nightstand area. So I'm just gonna go through this stuff and see what I can do. So I ended up purchasing the, this thing from, um, where's this from? Focus on this please. From Home Goods, And it is a little three tier little thing and um, it was $14.99 and the reason that I got it was because I actually have a bigger one in my closet and I use it for like tags of for stuff that like when I take the tags off and then if I ever need to return it I have them and um, this so it was a three section as well but this part didn't fit and so I was trying to figure out what I could do with this and in the process of organizing and going through all this stuff I found a use for this but then I also needed more so then I got the little baby one. So I'm going to be using this stuff. This stuff over here is makeup that I want to try to use more um, because it's like new and everything like that. And so I was just gonna like put it all away, but then I figured like that's not, why isn't this focusing? Then I figured like that's not the reason that like I wanted it out, you know? Like I still want to be able to have my practicality and everything like I had before, but just in a more organized fashion. So what I think I'm gonna do is use that big container and put that stuff in there. And then I think, because I wanna put this stuff in here, so I think I'm gonna use the little container and put these things in there. So then I'm just gonna go in order of what I use the most. So I use these little clips the most, and then I would probably say hair ties, and then bobby pins, because I kind of never use bobby pins. Whoops. So now that this is cleared out, I can go ahead and put, this is a one a day um, book, so like, it's kind of like a journal, but not really. It's like, I don't really want to show you guys. Um, so it has like, you put in the year, and um, then it shows you everything you did the past, um, same day for the past five years. I think it's kind of cool. So I have that in there, and then just this lotion that I use, and my really cute retainers. So now, it's all cleared off. As far as the stuff in here goes, this is like my everyday makeup. I use my straightener almost every day, my medicine, and that has just some deodorant. And then like I have to wear um, these like sticker things on my earrings because like on the back of my earrings. Um, so those are also back there. So that's kind of stuff that I need every day and it's fairly hidden. But so I like the way that this turned out. So this is what it looks like now, although it is pretty organized. I just want to go through and get rid of some stuff. So, concealers, foundations, highlights and bronzers, Then this is just a bunch of random stuff, kind of. And then mascaras, which I actually got rid of a, lo a lot of these recently because I had pink eye. Eyeshadows, eyeliners, lip glosses, lipsticks, and then these are just like little travel bags. And then up here, I have my palettes. And then that is just new makeup. So here is everything all laid out. And I'm also gonna go through my makeup brushes, and then this is like my everyday makeup. 
and I'm probably not going to show you guys like while I'm sorting through just because I don't have my tripod right now. Um, but yeah, so I will show you the before and after. Okay, so here is everything that I now have left over. Um, I went through my makeup fairly recently, so I don't have a lot of like super, super old stuff. Um, a lot of that is weeded out, but then I did just get rid of, this is all the stuff I'm getting rid of, just a bunch of stuff that I don't use or don't like or green fake eyelashes. But yeah, so now I'm just gonna put everything back. Okay, so I'm all done. So here are my palettes. So I got rid of a couple, I believe. And then I rearranged a few things. So here is my foundation. Here's my powder. Um, I keep one of my powders in my everyday makeup bag, so that's in there. Here are my highlighters and concealers. Then Then my primers and blotting sheets. This is kind of irritating, it keeps falling over, but I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> and then I have my bronzers and blush, my mascaras and eyeliner, and my tools. Then I have, um, these are some wipes that I use to clean off my makeup brushes, some makeup mirrors, and then eyelashes and then lip glosses. And I know this is weird, but it's all the space I have left. Um, I are lip liners and then eyeshadows and then the same little thing on the bottom. So that is all my makeup. So I hope you guys liked this video. Definitely let me know if you have any tips for cleaning out makeup or anything like that. Um, I will leave linked down below the rest of my KonMari videos and decluttering. And yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll talk to you in my next video.